Hey there, folks! Welcome to Sarah Plays a Scary Thing. I just got up. It's early in the morning. I need to wake up. So, let's get a little jump start here. <laughs> this is Amnesia the Dark Descent. Now remember, I am the world's slowest lemming. I know everybody and their dog has played this game already. Somehow I've managed to insulate myself from all kinds of spoilers from it. I did play the demo uh, the other day, and, well, here's part of a long story short as to why I haven't played it until now. When I first got decent internet, I downloaded the demo, started playing, and at random points, everything would just kind of flip upside down. I thought that was part of the game at first, but no, that was actually some kind of weird video card goofery. So I just upgraded my video card here a little bit ago and decided I'd try it again and lo and behold it works. Played the demo and immediately went out and bought the full thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my game here. It's turning to go yes. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Have whatever the gentleman on the floor is having, please. Okay, just so you know, I'm not using the default key configuration here. I've got one of those Razer Nostromo keypad thingies. So, your mileage may vary. Follow the, li li follow the liquid trail and find its source. Yes, I remember this part from the demo. So you know what? I'm getting out of here. Screw you guys. I'm not doing this. I will not be one of those people in the first 30 seconds of Supernatural. No sir, no ma'am. Um, shit. Um. Nope, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get. Help. Ah! Okay. Never mind. <sighs> One of my TF2 friends is informing me that this is the scariest game ever made. Up. Come on, dude. Nope, can't go there. Ah! <laughs> How about no? Anything in here that I can't live without? Oh, a tinderbox, yes. Yes, please. Actually, BRB, hold on one second, please. Okay, I'm back. Oh, no, can't go that way. <laughs> I just informed Skimmer that I was recording this. Now, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I just closed that door. Surely I can get into here. Oh, is that another tinderbox? Oh, good. <laughs> okay. 
got some tinder boxes. That, that, that. There you go. <sighs> this is all stuff that I've been over in the demo, and I'm still waiting for shit to just jump right out at me. That is the mark of a great horror game, when you can just be walking along with no enemies in sight and you're still waiting for shit to jump out and grab you. Let's see. Um. Oops, that's right. R. <laughs> can I pick this up? Oh wait, I can open it. Anything in there? Oops. Nothing in there. Yeah, it's awfully dark in here. I don't like that. Another tinder box, cool. So apparently the longer you spend in the dark, the crazier you get. Which makes perfect sense. Nothing in here. Can I put this on? No. Oh no, wrong side of the door. this? No. I never tried to pull these aside. No. Oh god. floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear as she too would be punished. <sighs> Give me a little drink there. Open that way. Okay. Random book on the floor. <laughs> Who? Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. Yeah, that's pretty much how that actually goes. Okay, I need a the lantern. Ew, ew, ew. Somehow I missed this in the demo. So there's apparently absolutely nothing in here I need. Screw that. There's some light out there. Now I do. I should go back out here. Can I pick this up? No. Mm, okay. Well, so much for that idea. 
Okay, so, um, the full version just threw a curveball at me. This is not the same. Put that way from. Okay, no, I'm not. Shit. No, no, no. Open the door. Can I like that? No. Uh, I don't like it. Okay, hold that thought. Okay, here we go. I've got a cat trying to get on the table. Here we go. Oh shit. No, oh, no, that's not really bright enough to. That's a carpet. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh booze. Can I can I have some of this? How about this? It's moonshine? Glowy piece of paper. 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Must have been really good don't news be then. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. You're right, that does His sound horrible. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Great. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, oh. Daniel. Seems legit. Oh, good. Some oil. Can I grab this candle? Oh, shit. Too dark, too dark. What? Ho! Oh. No, too dark. Oh, ew. Oh. Oh, oh, that's right. I got oil. There we go. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Okay. Huh? I think I can get away with not. Oh, what the hell? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies uh. well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Oh. He doesn't sound very old and weak to me. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, tinderbox. 
Any oil in here? Is that where I came from? Can't go there. Ew. Oh, gross. I guess I am supposed to go down there. But you know what? I'm not going to yet. I'm going to stall that for as long as I can. I'm going to go look for stuff. Wine cellar. Hey! Ah! Come on! Laboratorium. Oh, goody. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Ugh. I could light that. How many tinder boxes do I have? Three. Okay. Organic tissue respect reacts especially violently to the solution. Oh, gross. Oh, is there? I see. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Alright, I need to get out of here for now, I think. Yeah, this is all not what I am used to. <laughs> there. Nope. 
can't go that way, obviously. Or that way. How about this way? What's over here? Archives. Okay. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do this. <laughs> <coughs> Can't sprint, can I? No. <laughs> no. Look my lantern holding up. Oh god, already? there. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I guess I do have to go back up to the lab then. <coughs> that sucks. Actually, since I can't get into the wine cellar, I'm going to go over this way and see if whatever it is that I need to do can be found over here. Archives, here we go. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Library. Rare books. Oh, good. There's some skylight there. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. Mm -hmm. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear oh, the that way never ends late well. into the dark, <coughs> cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the mm -hmm. British Museum. That drawer, no. What about this drawer? No. Bottom drawer? Well, screw you too. Alexander, Baron of Breckenridge. Uh, huh. That's a little dark over here. <coughs> but not there. Okay. Nope, that's not a shiny paper. Open up. 
Can I light that? <laughs> no, that would be too easy. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. Uh -oh. I feel a need to document <coughs> my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. Your face is a I strange language. How about that? And yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, oh, shooting me inside. I was trapped. Spoiler, he got out. Oops, wrong button. There we go. some sanity. I can't open that. Nope, apparently not. Oh good, tinderbox. Cat on the table. Probably just wasted some tinder boxes, but you know what? Fuck it. There's not a damn thing in there. I am kind of lost now, actually. It's out. Shit. May I have some oil, please? Ah, outside. Let me out. Nope, can't, can't pull the curtains back. Oh, good. Out of tinder boxes. What do we have here? Uh fragile but not breakable by hand. Maps. Shiny paper. Um Dude? Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. Oh. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, I have to do this. Okay. It Shiny. was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic My light. My Shiny! Come to me, Shiny! 
I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Oh, goody. Nope, nothing under there. Nope. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Nothing worthwhile in there. What about that? Is that a drawer? No. Nothing there. I'm in here. Floor plans. That's reassuring. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Oh, great. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Tinder boxes, oil, thank you. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that in there. Okay, that's where I came from. Just random shit crammed into drawers here. Miss something over here? No, just a cockroach. Well, um, crap. Where did I come from? Where do I go? Obviously, I need to get through there. So I need to pick something up, apparently. That should do it. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. No, that is not... Oh! I did it! That actually worked! Holy shit! You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. with hmm There's shiny paper I need to get in there oh there we go let's just break them all what the hell Local folklore. Oop. Shit. Well. Ah. Uh, I can't already be out of oil. Damn. 
Um. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, so there's this book. That book. Oh, that's a door. Good. And that book. Okay. Well, let's try this, shall we? Ah, there we go. That's nice. Nope, no more. Shit. done it. Oh goody, I got a key. Um, it's not good. Nothing in there. Anything in here? How about here? Gas oil? Oh good, shiny paper. The human vessels? Killing my trusty servants? Is that book important? Doesn't seem to be. Just a random book I can pull out. Okay, well, I think I'm going, after I open this drawer, nothing else in there. I'm going to retreat back to this nice, well-lit library, stand under this lamp, and I am going to call it a day and go off to work. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.